Look after that interception in pick six. Uh, just keep moving forward and keep putting one foot in front of the other. I mean, it was obviously something that we had. It was a self-induced, uh, you know, uh, you know, play, a turnover that really shouldn't happen. They really credited them. They made a good play. I think one of their defensive linemen uh, got a handle on the ball, and the ball was up in there for a little bit. So it's, those are always scary. And they made a play on the ball. They're a good Big Ten team. They have really good defense, I think. One of the better ones we've played all year, I think. They do a lot of good job. They do a good job of mixing, mixing up looks and schemes. So... Credit those guys and just credit our offense just to keep putting one foot in front of the other because we knew we had, a, we had a good plan. So. It was like seeing Aiden run away from you a little bit. Yeah, it, like I was telling Donovan, like there's there's nothing cooler than watching you know a back you know break break away and nobody's in the clear. So, and nobody, I mean nobody is more deserving than than Aiden, <clears throat> Illinois kid. I know this he'll remember this day for a long time, even if he didn't get one touch. Uh, but to see him, you know, I think he got in the end zone three times over. 150 yards, something like that, man. I'm nobody more happy. Or nobody, I mean, we're all so happy for him because he's worked so hard and um, he's been, you know, so close to the end zone all year. Got in last week, but uh, man, it's so cool to see him score it three times to really be an MVP for us, obviously. So, you transferred here for an opportunity to be a starting quarterback on a winning team. Have things gone the way you envisioned them going since you came here? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the first year a little rocky, man, but I wouldn't trade, you know, that experience, you know, those experiences last year for, for anything in this world. Um, I, I believe it's, you know, those tough times, those adversities, me sitting on the sideline for the last three created what you see today, not just from my viewpoint, but from everybody in that locker room. Um, you know, our successes this year came from our failures last year. We didn't want to feel that way again, and we knew we had to, you know, right the ship coming coming out this year. So, um, yeah, small town kid from Mississippi. Never thought I'd be playing at Wrigley Field and against Illinois, with, with Illinois against Northwestern. So, um, just really so thankful. And all praise be to be to God for, um, you know, writing my steps. And I'm just so thankful. Well, you were probably in kindergarten or preschool the last time they won nine games here. Why was this team able to get to nine? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of people have talked about it. Just the unity, the brotherhood. Uh, the leadership, you know, obviously starting with Coach B on down, uh, you know, just a group of guys who love each other, you know, unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, every single but every single person in that locker room, you know, loves the the guy next to him, and I haven't been a part of that. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of programs where that's not the case. So, and like I said, that starts with Coach B and his leadership, his optimism, uh, his plan for us. You know, every single day, it's so consistent, so loyal, and I think just the unity. Um, really prevailed us to, to nine wins. Obviously, we'd love to be at 10, 11, 12, but man, just really, really thankful. And um, yeah, I mean, it's I mean, that's really it. We're not the most talented team out there uh, against a lot of teams we play, but that unity is you know a lot stronger than the talent, I think, so. Have you guys been talking about <coughs> excited to get down to Florida for the big bowl game, and hang out with Mickey Mouse and Disney World? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think everybody's excited uh, to go down to some warmer weather for sure, uh, to enjoy some time in, in a really cool place. Hopefully, I don't know where we'll land. I don't really know how that will play out, but I've been here in Orlando, so just looking forward to it. But you know, just just really reflecting on the last 12 games, <laughs> just man, so thankful for guys like Zakari who's just waving at me. Man, just it's so cool to see everybody's story play out. But looking forward to just going to do one more with my guys. So. Uh, it was really a busted play, to be honest with you. Uh, it wasn't really, it wasn't designed to pat at all. It was designed for Zakari to work, to work on a, a wheel linebacker in the slot to break across his face. They showed a different look than we had practiced. We thought it'd be there, but um, you know, I got outside to Pat. He wasn't really open either. And then Pat just made a instinctive play where he kind of, uh, you know, turned and spun out the backside, and he got kind of lost and. Um, Protect. I mean, none of that would have happened without my protection up front. They gave me all day back there. So, um, just a great player, great experience, instinctive player in Pat, and uh, glad I could just put it in his area, and he did the rest. So, one more after this one. Where were you? Potential single season record, and it looked like one drive went in a few times in the end zone. Like, what would you like to see? Who's that, Pat? Yeah, he didn't talk about it once. To be honest with you. Um, and that just speaks to the character and guy he is. A lot of guys would, you know, be like, "Yeah, I need one more. I need, you know, this, that, and the other." But man, he just wanted to win. 
And uh, like I said, that just speaks to the unity, the brotherhood, the love that we all have. We don't care about statistics, whatever it may be, man. We care about Ws. So, and uh, that's why we're in the position that we're in because because of guys like Pat Bryant and, and you just go down the list. So, um, it was really cool. Look, guys, you mentioned the <coughs> line just uh, I mean, it's third touchdown. JC blocked this guy, I think, ten yards downfield. Just <laughs> yeah. kind of carried him. What, what did you see from that group to maybe open the lines for anybody? Just confidence. I don't. I mean, you got got to go watch the film back. But I think we just had a good good plan, man. Coach Lenny uh, and 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 the crew is is assistance, man. Just you know, put a really good plan in place for us against their schemes, against their defense, and guys. You know, our offensive line was inspired to just go win nine games. So, um, like I told Don on the side, there's nothing cooler to to see you know Aiden or Josh or whoever it is break a long run, but also to see guys up front to have success. I know those guys. We're so excited, JC and, and all the Josh crew, all those guys, man. So um, just a physical physical Big Ten game in the cold weather, and they embraced it, so it was cool. So your, your, your dream at some point was to play, you know, big high-profile SEC games as an SEC player. Uh, you're going to play a team like that probably a full time in a high-profile situation and all that, but for Illinois, is it, is it, uh, how does it, how do you think it will compare? I don't know. I, th I know we got a good group, and whoever we line up against, I don't care if it's the Super Bowl champs or a, you know a seven-year-old football team. We're going to go compete. Uh, we're going to go, uh, you know, do what we can to go win. But you know, like I said, I grew up in Mississippi, where you know, SEC football was king. You know, it was it was greater than NFL football. To, you know, and from at least my perspective, I went to a lot of games, a lot of environments down there, and they're obviously a, a really, really great conference. So for us to to, um, to go out there, you know, and, and play up a really high-profile SEC team. Uh, will be really cool, but ain't nobody gonna be um, afraid or nothing like that. We got a confident bunch, and and uh, I'm excited to lead that charge. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate you.